Now we got fucking Spartan. <laughs> Spartan's annoying. It is, I'm trying for a good blue Kong draw. He keeps using two mana every turn to uh, root me. My friend Bruce just dropped a basilisk. Nice. So I feel nice. like this is going to be a really easy win. I mean, you say that. Yeah, I do. What about if he's only doing that so you think it's going to be an easy win? Then congratulations, he played me. <laughs> but he played in the range of my Guan, so I just made a Crescent Blade and killed it. Yeah, and that'll do it. And now he's fire imping my Guan? I don't know. This kid's doing two damage a turn. He keeps losing. And at one point, I'm just gonna draw Blade Master and kill him. <laughs> Seems pretty good. So he drops an Arachno, so I just recalled it and then Crescent Blade the Spider. And then this turn, he's probably gonna do exactly the same. Dropped it leaner. So this is now where I play the Wukong on turn seven, give him tiger form. And then put mana potion projection to kill his Athena. <laughs> All right, saving that mana potion just for that play. There's, there's no an eight to seven on board. There's no an eight. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saving it for. There's no an eight to seven on board, and not much you can do about it. Yeah, seems pretty scary to be honest. So I can siphon line into killing Emperor's Prince. He's now got over half his turn doing fuck all. Before deciding he's gonna walk up to my leader with his leader and probably smack me in the face for one. But uh, I mean, I've been doing that this game too. I don't know. Like, if you're melee, I feel like you always have to hit the range leader. At least usually you want to. You could be wrong though. I don't know, I'm just curious to see where this play goes. Right, he just walked marksman up towards me. So now, what do I want to do here? I've got a couple of options. One of which is drop Alquan, drop Rushing Thunder. Seems That's right. always a fun play. Oh, why did he have to get Nike out of his frickin' Beacon of Hope? Yeah, let's drop Rushing Thunder, right? 
see what damage we can do. And then if we drop Double Crescent Blade on that, his protection is now gone. Wukong just killed one of his stones. And he has a 1-5 Poseidon on board. With fuck all he can do. If you put Transfusion onto an Imperial Guard, does it go to 4-3? An Imperial Guard? Um, About to find out. It does. Should be 5-4. To... Should go to 5-4, right? No, it has three HP. Imperial Guard. Oh, it ha it, sorry, it had already taken one damage. So yeah, yeah, you're correct. That's yeah, because it should be, it should be five four because you play the spell, or no, you activate the spell. The spell plays its effect, and then as the spell gets discarded, Guard activates their effect, and it gives plus one. See, so, yeah, you can make it a five four that does zero return damage. It's pretty disgusting. It's pretty good. Right, so he just rooted my 8-7 Wukong, but my 5-5 five, five Alquong is sitting next to his 7 health stone, and if he can't kill it, I'm just going to Blade Master. And win. Nice. Oh, he silenced my Alquong. Oh no. Oh, oh boy, what am I going to do here? He's just summoned an Arachne, and he's pinged me for 1. Right, let's go. No. That felt good when he was laughing. <laughs> it's me, everyone. What are my quests? My quests are win as Egyptian, win as Norse, and win as Greek. Let's go to the Egyptian. Win seven games. Yeah, I hate the win seven games. What? 270 favor? It's better than win two Egyptian. It takes a damn while. Yeah, two Egyptian, those two games. Three wins. Yeah, but you also gotta win when it's Egyptian. Know your yeah. know yourself. It's easier to just win seven games of Chinese. Unless you're fighting a dragon, of course. Sometimes. Maybe I should have played that for Zillion. He's a good player, it wouldn't matter. So I probably should have. So, uh, we think Mayan, the uh, Spirit of the Nine Winds, is going to be calling me instead of Rose? I don't think they'll do Spirit of the Nine Winds. Oh, it's so good, though. I don't even know what kooks will have. Maybe his basics reduce your movement by one for a turn? I would think it's going to be whirlwind. That would right? actually be pretty interesting. Yeah, that would be more interesting. Because it's not, it's not going to be his ult, because they've already got Dragon King. And then they've got either give him a speed boost, which would be a really weird thing to implement. Yeah. <laughs> because it would either need to be that he would be the only ranged with three movement. Yo, I, I run into your kid. Which one? Stimson. Stimson, yeah. Yeah, man, I picked him up. Does he have uh, Odin? Yep. Watch for the fire giants and the harpies. <laughs> oh, not the harpies. The gold fury harpies, though. Oh, fury. Yeah. I don't know if Sandboy's not called gold fury in this game. I don't know. Because that's what it is. Here, so then you'd have to make him like the only three movement ranged unit, which because they don't show movement would be really stupid. Yeah. And so then it becomes either tornado or uh, Zephyr. Yeah. And tornado, I think if they did it would be like a bleed. Yeah, that would be where tricky. If you attack them, they then 
take like instead of attacking a person, you attack a square, and then if somebody was in that square, they take one damage then, and then one damage the next turn. That would actually be interesting. I think you'd you'd still have the full range. And my lightning illumination. Yeah, I could actually see that. That would be interesting. <laughs> that feeling when they play Doomspeaker. So you hardwire it. So they play Doomspeaker. So you hardwire it. <laughs> <laughs> so you now have two hardwires sitting right next to each other. Like if you play solo, I am fucked. Hope he doesn't play soul. I'm really hoping he doesn't play soul. Although, no, because he can attack my leader with it. Fuck. Oh wow. He's just fucking. He gung near might. Scion of doom. I didn't see that coming. I'll give him that. Oh yeah, he has both of those. <clears throat> but it's okay because I get to kill his scion without the crescent blades, so I don't actually take any repercussions. So now on board I've got Gwon and two Hobwars. He's got jack shit. Ezreal Athena, I should have recalled instead of playing Gorn. Who are you playing? Uh, Angela. No. Angela Key. Well, fuck. Angel. Oh, thank God. It's either. I don't know what that is, or it's Angel A uh, Key. You played Rat and charged it. In the hopes that he could kill one of my hardwares and ping the other. Like it's an interesting play. I'll give it to him. Like it, it, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting play. It's ambitious. But uh, it pinged my terror instead, so he fucking degassed my other hardware. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. But then as Gwon Yu, I drew Crescent Blade, so I just used Crescent Blade, summoned Crescent Blade, <laughs> killed both. You actually run Crescent Blade? Oh, hell yeah. There's nothing like turn 3 having like 4 Crescent Blades. Oh man, I played that turn awful. Who cares? I could have enjoyed it. Should've played the yeah, card. My hand, my hand is super late game, and I love it. What do you got? Dragon King Wukong Double Blade Master. Yeah, can't argue with it. It's the latest of game in my deck, apart from Double Alkong. Ah, oh, played his leader master. right in front of a stone. Beast. There's six damage to your leader. There's your leader dead. Oh, that is not the one you want to stun, buddy. I am playing Guan Yu. What is he playing? Roman. He's playing uh, uh, Zeus. Oh, Ares. Yeah, yeah. I've got a 2 2 Imperial Soldier sitting next to a 6 HP stone. <laughs> His turn's gonna die next turn. How many spells have you got in hand? Two. Yes, can't you only make it a four turn? Uh, I can make it a five two because I can make a crescent blade and then auto my leader into it. Oh right, yeah, okay. And that's not counting the two pings that I get, or the three pings I get from my archer. 
Hmm. He has a Ymir on board. It does slightly concern me. He's got a 4 HP stone that I just played master and killed.